Hello everyone, welcome to another series of today's GK. Let's begin with previous day's practice question. Question was, recently seen in news, Kali Tiger Reserve is located at South Goa, Goa, Uttar Kannad, Karnataka, Koyambatur, Tamil Nadu or Ahmednagar, Maharashtra. The correct answer is option B, Uttar Kannad, Karnataka. Recently, the Kali Tiger Reserve was in news in relation with the Goa Tamnar Transmission Project. The Kali Tiger Reserve, earlier known as Dandeli Anshi Tiger Reserve, is located in the central portion of the Uttar Kannad, that is North Canara district of Karnataka state. The Tiger Reserve comprises two important protected areas of the region, Dandeli Wildlife Sanctuary and Anshi National Park. The forests of the Tiger Reserve are primarily moist, deciduous and semi-evergreen, with excellent patches of evergreen forest in the westernmost parts as well as in deep valleys. Now let's begin today's session. First question is, which of the following has developed and launched SCIM portal? Ministry of Earth Sciences, Ministry of Home Affairs, Ministry of Education or Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment? The correct answer is option B, Ministry of Home Affairs. Recently, as part of several initiatives by the government for safety of women, safe city projects have been sanctioned by the Ministry of Home Affairs, that is MHA. The project has been started under the Nirbhaya Fund scheme in eight cities, namely Ahmedabad, Bengaluru, Chennai, Delhi, Hyderabad, Kolkata, Lucknow and Mumbai. MHA has put in place a safe city implementation and monitoring, that is SCIM portal to enable the state implementing agencies to upload details about the assets deployed under the project and other details relating to the progress of implementation. Next question is with reference to the Indus Waters Treaty, consider the following statements. 1. It is a water sharing agreement between India and Pakistan signed in 1960. 2. It was brokered by the World Bank. Which of the statement or statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option C, both 1 and 2. Recently, India took stock of the modification process of the 1960 Indus Waters Treaty at a steering committee meeting. It was signed in 1960 after nine years of negotiations between India and Pakistan with the help of the World Bank, which is also a signatory. Hence, statements 1 and 2 are correct. It allocated the three western rivers Indus, Chenab and Jhelum to Pakistan for unrestricted use bearing certain non-consumptive agricultural and domestic uses by India. The three eastern rivers Ravi, Bias and Satluj were allocated to India for unrestricted usage. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements regarding Earth Day 2023. 1. It is celebrated every year on April 22. 2. The theme of this year is Restore Our Earth. Which of the statement or statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option A, 1 only. The event of Earth Day is celebrated every year on April 22 to raise awareness about the importance of climate change and ways to protect our planet. Hence, statement 1 is correct. The EarthDay.org or EDO is the global organizer of Earth Day and the largest recruiter of environmental movements worldwide. The theme for the Earth Day 2023 is invest in our planet. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements regarding Sangathan Se Samriddhi. 1. The campaign's primary objective is to mobilize disadvantaged rural communities unaware of the benefits of the Deen Dayal Antyodhya Yojana National Rural Livelihoods Mission Program. 2. It will be organized in a few states only. Which of the statement or statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option A, 1 only. Recently, the Ministry of Rural Development's Deen Dayal Antyodhya Yojana National Rural Livelihoods Mission or Day NRLM has launched Sangathan Se Samriddhi Leaving No Rural Women Behind campaign. It is a national campaign under Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav Samaveshi Vikas aimed at mobilizing 10 crore women from eligible rural households. The primary objective of this campaign is to mobilize disadvantaged rural communities unaware of the benefits of the day NRLM program. Hence, statement 1 is correct. The campaign will be organized in all states with the expectation of forming more than 1.1 lakh self-help groups. 
Hence, statement 2 is not correct. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Next question is regarding electromagnetic ion cyclotron or EMIC waves recently seen in news. Which of the following statements is or are true? 1. These waves play an important role in precipitation of killer electrons. 2. The scientists have identified EMIC waves in the Indian Antarctic Station, Mathri. 2. It is observed in the Earth's magnetosphere. Select the correct answer using the code given below. 1 and 2 only, 2 and 3 only, 2 only or 1, 2 and 3. The correct answer is option D, 1, 2 and 3. Recently, the scientists have identified electromagnetic ion cyclotron waves, a form of plasma waves in the Indian Antarctic Station, Mathri and studied its characteristics. Hence, statement 2 is true. These waves play an important role in precipitation of killer electrons which are hazardous to our space borne technology or instruments. Hence, statement 1 is true. The killer electrons are electrons having speed close to speed of light which form the radiation belt of the planet Earth. EMIC waves are transverse plasma waves which are generated in the equatorial magnetosphere. Hence, statement 3 is true. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. Next question is PM Mitra Parks is an initiative of which of the following ministries or institutions? Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship, Ministry of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises or Ministry of Textiles. The correct answer is option D, Ministry of Textiles. Recently, the Prime Minister has lauded the setting up of PM Mitra Mega Textiles Park across Lucknow and Hardoi districts in Uttar Pradesh. The Ministry of Textiles had issued a notification in October 2021 for setting up of seven PM Mitra Parks as announced in Union Budget for 2021-22. It is inspired by the 5F vision of the Honorable Prime Minister, Farm to Fiber to Factory to Fashion to Foreign. The scheme aims to realize the vision of building an Atmanirbhar Bharat and to position India strongly on the global textiles map. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. Next question is recently seen in news, Parambikulam Tiger Reserve is located in which of the following states? Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Kerala or Karnataka? The correct answer is option C, Kerala. Recently, the Supreme Court refused to interfere in a plea by Kerala against a state high court order to capture radio collar and translocate a rogue elephant, Ericompan, which has wreaked havoc in Iduki district to Muthuvarchal within Parambikulam Tiger Reserve. The Parambikulam Tiger Reserve is located in the state of Kerala. The reserve supports diverse habitat types such as evergreen forest, moist and dry deciduous forest and grasslands. Other unique habitats like montain grasslands and marshy grasslands locally known as wilds are also extensively found here. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements regarding the national quantum mission. 1. It will entail development of satellite based secure communications between a ground station and a receiver. 2. Under the mission there will be three broad themes. Quantum computing, quantum communication, quantum sensing and meteorology. Which of the statement or statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two or neither one nor two. The correct answer is option A, one only. Recently, the union government has approved the national quantum mission to accelerate quantum technology-led economic growth and leverage India into a leading nation in the sector. The mission will entail development of satellite-based secure communications between a ground station and a receiver located with 3,000 kilometers during the first three years. Hence, statement 1 is correct. There will be four broad themes, quantum computing, quantum communication, quantum sensing and meteorology and quantum material and devices under this mission. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Next question is which of the following has developed and launched Sathi portal? Ministry of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises, Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment, Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare or Ministry of Women and Child Development? The correct answer is option C, Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare. Recently, the Union Agriculture and Farmers Welfare Minister launched the Sathi that is Seed, Traceability, Authentication and Holistic Inventory Portal and Mobile App. It is a centralized online system for seed traceability, authentication and inventory designed to deal with the challenges of seed production, quality seed identification 
and SEED certification. It has been developed by the National Informatics Center in collaboration with the Union Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare on the theme of Uttam Beej Samridh Kisan. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Last question is exercise in your choice 23 was recently seen in the news. It is India-France military exercise, multilateral exercise hosted by the Hellenic Air Force, India-USA air exercise or quad members naval exercise. The correct answer is option B, multilateral exercise hosted by the Hellenic Air Force. Exercise in your choice is an annual multilateral exercise based on the facilities of the Air Tactics Center at the Andravida Air Base, Greece. The Indian Air Force is participating in exercise in your choice 23 hosted by the Hellenic Air Force of Greece. The IAF is participating with four Sukhoi 30 MKI and two C-17 aircrafts. This exercise is also witnessing the participation of countries like Saudi Arabia, France, Spain and Italy. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. Now it's time for the practice question. Project Magi was recently seen in the news. It is associated with which of the following? Google, Microsoft, Hewlett Packard or Tesla? Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.